hello 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 everybody well going it's jade and welcome back to my youtube channel today i have a fun video for you guys it's an unboxing but it's already unboxed <laughs> all right so let's get started all right guys so i know I, I went out and I bought all these things. It didn't come in a box. It came in the bag that I bought it in. <laughs> right? So I guess it's an unbagging. I don't know. But let's show you guys. So I picked up some stuff. I needed some watercolors and I am trying these out. Um, and of course, we need gum, right? So I got some gum as well. Don't worry, I'm not going to be chewing now. But I bought it, so I'm going to show you. There's one more thing I bought that I, it's not here. I'm going to show you still. That's the first thing I'm going to show you. I know it has nothing to do with this, but I thought it was fun. I saw this. My son loves the dinosaurs. Like all these seven-year-olds love dinosaurs, right? So I bought this and, you know, here's what it looks like at the back. And it can be painted and he'll fix the bits together. And I thought this was super fun. Um, I picked up way too much and I put them down and I only decided to try this one out and if he likes it I can go back and I can get the police car there is a race car there is like three other dinosaurs um, they're like buildings and stuff like that but the dinosaurs and the cars that's what he loves I saw these mini alphas and I went ahead and I got it. It's two sheets that come inside. And I thought these were so cute. So here are the three colors. All right, and I thought they are so cute. So I went ahead and I got it. So we're gonna put that to the side. This is also for my son. Um, these cute scissors. Um, you may or may not know my son is on the autistic autism spectrum and um, we need to learn how to use the scissor and I think these are safe right now for him to use so that's the reason I don't need to put it back in bag that's the reason why I got this one all right so first we have a glue stick I, I need I needed a glue stick I have a lot of liquid glue but no glue stick now these aren't like the regular pens that persons um, like to draw and illustrate with the like like the macrons and all of those but guess what for this today I was like I'm not ordering anything online it's gonna take two to three weeks to get to me and I'm not waiting that long <laughs> right so I bought these of course there I saw some um, what do you call it the stud stud mark stud art um they had some and i saw big but i have a love hate relationship with the big um over a period of time the color fades and so i didn't want that i am very confident in these pens i've always used them in a lot of my my artwork i have had some stuff that i use the big black felt and let's just say it's no longer black it looks green so I decided to go with these and I actually like drawing with pen and I like black so I like black and red I like the black and red contrast and it's like really fine as you can see you can see the tip it's super fine it's a 0 0.5 tip and I thought I like that maybe a long explanation but I got some of these smudgers as well typically normally you don't need these when you're drawing normally when I'm drawing I don't use the smudge I just use my finger and smudge or I, I use a q-tip but I decided to try these out and see how it goes so if you can obviously see there's no drawing pencils here and that's because I have tons and I have charcoal so I don't need to go out and get those a typical and I got this little sketch pad I'm going to, to 
do something fun with this one so i got three so this little one is for a specific project this one um let me get a scissor to open that up this particular one one the pages are 150 gsm right so they're as you can hear it it's decent thickness there is another that was like really thick um but i decided to go with this one because i wanted to try out and see which do i prefer if i like the spiral on this side and work with it like that or like this one if I want the spiral at the top this let me see how thick these are this is obviously thicker than this mm -hmm. yeah it's way thicker I'm trying to see the thickness if it's on here and it is not but it's fine normally this is what i normally do i like to draw on loose paper so sometimes i'll just rip it out because i don't like drawing in a book i don't know it's just preference personal preference right um paintbrush so these are all watercolor um these are all watercolor brushes and here are the watercolors so these are 24 watercolors now i i didn't do any reviews or anything full disclosure i left my house going to a specific store because i know that they had two watercolor palettes right and then i got there and i was like i'm not buying that it's too expensive right so it's overpriced because I could have gotten it on Amazon for like let's just say the price on Amazon here in Jamaica it was like four times the price that I saw it on Amazon for so I was not going to buy it so I saw it on Amazon for 20 it was a palette with 24 colors and I saw it for 20 I think 24.99 or 22.99 something like that and I went in the store here in jamaica and it was like 90 dollars us equivalent right so i was not going to buy that <laughs> so i left and i went to another store and that's where i found these because like they sell a lot of hard supplies and i always go there so i went looking for a palette of course i didn't find one but i did find these so they have this and everything acrylics oil pastels gouache acrylic paints watercolor what else do they have it in oil paint you know watercolor um pencils and stuff like that and of course i was like eh, what should i do should i go and order that off amazon wait three weeks and i decided that i'm going to go ahead and give it a try because you know what let's just give it a try <laughs> so that is what it happened sorry about that so that's really what happened of course we're gonna see if it's any good and if all else fail you know we just play around with it and then we can always buy another palette that's what I'm telling myself it's totally fine right and so this is these are the the brushes that match of course and so you see them in tubes right and the name on them so this is burnt umber um what oh 
I have this weird feeling that they kind of look the same. So this one says mauve. This one is violet. Um, this one is yellow. And this says this is white. So I'm telling you the color. So we have white. It's 24 and they're really heavy. So this is white. Um, let me zoom you guys so you can see better. All right. So this one is white. Lemon yellow. This one is yellow pale. So I'm going to swatch all of these in another video. I'm probably going to just do a swatch of all of these colors. Now this is the palette that it's going to live in because they're watercolor, it's not like it's acrylic. So this is the palette, you see it's kind of, you know, um, soft and then they're pretty deep, the cavities are pretty deep, right, um, so it does hold a lot, right? Um, and then I can just stick some paper up here and write the name. That's what I'm going to do because I needed a palette. So it was a choice of this one. And I prefer to, I preferred this over the other two choices that were there because the covers aren't attached. And so I think this one is a lot more secure than the others. So, and I liked it. I just liked the way it looked. So that's why I got that one. And then here is my palette. But this is my palette. And as you can see, you can separate it because I opened it just to see what it's like. And you can mix your colors or I could even probably put some other colors there. All right, so that's an option for me as well. But like you see this one here, You're seeing me fight with this thing. One second. Okay, here we are. So, this one opens like this with a hinge. Alright, and of course, like you saw what I just did, I just took it off. Right, so you can take it off. You're going to fight with it to put it back on. And then you remove this, and your thumb goes right there because it's a palette so you can put the colors that you're working with and then you can mix and play around right there like so so that's fun right so that's fun you know it just depends um if you're right-handed left-handed whatever you know so it would fit best like this uh, however i'm right-handed right sorry about that so let me just get a tester brush in all right this is my son's brush that he used right you realize that i am right-handed and i was trying to do this thing with my left so here's your palette and you can just mix right and just play around with it like so so there we go boom so i'm going to 
probably do a video pot in these because I think that would be fun. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. And of course, we are going to play with this and test it out and see what it is like and how fun it is. And let me go ahead and open up the brushes. The brushes. All right. Um, of course, it's in Chinese, so I can't read it. Or Japanese. Wherever. Sh yeah, I think maybe it's Japanese. Yeah. Right. So here are the brushes. And there are six varying sizes this so this is the large one and i do have i do have a few bigger brushes that i can use you know for the washes and then we have a small one i think it's so cute they're so cute and then as time go on and progressive we can go ahead and order those off amazon right but of course like I'm not a watercolor artist, right? And so I just wanted to play around with some watercolors and I decided, let's try like this. I draw, I sketch those things. I like to use ink, charcoal, and pencil. Those are my mediums of choice um, when I'm drawing. But I decided, let's try watercolors. Let's see how those work. And I like working with acrylic. I like doing poured, paint and stuff like that but I decided you know what I want to step out of my comfort zone and do a bit of watercoloring I bought some watercolor pencils which I used a little bit um I, I used them a bit in some of the printables um, that I've done um hmm and some of the work in my bible I've, I think I've used yeah I have um but I decided I needed to get watercolors. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you love the scissors, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below where you can get this along with a discount code. Um, for everything else, there is no discount code. However, if you want to pick anything up, I'm going to look on Amazon and see if I can find links for these things. And I'm going to link them and we're gonna see how it goes. All right, guys. Thank you again so much for watching and joining with me. Let me know in the comments what are you most excited to see me work with and what do you want to see me work with? I know I do a lot of Bible journaling, junk journaling or collaging and stuff on this channel. But if you want to see some drawing or some of those art processes, let me know. So let me know in the description, in the comments section. Let me know in the comments section down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. All right, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have yourself a wonderful day. A wonderful day, guys. All right, bye.